The story is now broken on the uh, uh, FoxNews.com website, and it's it's a couple other places. A guy named John Sanders, who uh, was a technology reporter at WBAL TV in uh, Baltimore, uh, admitted to Breitbart TV over the weekend, and there uh, Scott Baker, that he was in fact the person responsible for creating this phony bit of of tape, which uh, seemed to have me making a, a racist comment about the Attorney General of the United States. John's like, I can't even say it on the radio for crying out loud. Bright blue scrotum. A monkey in the loose. We're anyway. talking about Eric Holder today on the Bright. radio and his... Bright blue scrotum. Now, I didn't say that. This is what actually occurred. John's like, I can't even say it on the radio for crying out loud. Bright blue scrotum. A monkey in the loose. We're anyway. talking about Eric Holder today on the Bright. radio and his comment that this is a... Nation of cowards. Nation of cowards. Mm -hmm. So what uh, Sanders did was uh, say, we're talking about Eric Holder on the radio and his, and at that point he edited and stuck on a uh, trace describing that uh, distinctive physical feature of the monkey that had escaped. Although I still cannot understand why if you're looking for an escape monkey, you have to, you have to know the distinguishing features. Anyway, Sanders, uh, Scott Baker interviewed him on Breitbart TV, and he, he tried to say it was just a joke. Of course, I, I don't have anything against John, you know. Uh, I'm, I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. I have no information on that now. I'm reserving judgment on that point right now because it, the thing seemed awfully malicious to me. What, so what happened when it went to, to, to TV Newser? Because I think if, if what people were looking at on Newser and then later on Huffington Post, did they just turn the annotations off? Those are uh, That's Scott Baker referring to two industry websites which pushed this thing out in the public and created just a... A firestorm of, of hate mail directed at me. You know, I, I honestly don't know how that works. And I, I don't know how it, 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 I was really kind of floored when it became as, as big as it did. I really just did it to, to share with some friends and thought it was, was the, just that they thought it was funny that what they were talking about, not the bit about, right. about John. And of course, I, I, do, I don't have anything against John, you know, or against Fox or anybody that was involved in that. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, at least at this point, I got to take him at his word. But you got to say that you know, doing that edit, and why do it? Well, you know, it's not that I'm without controversy. You put those words in my mouth, it's gonna, people are gonna assume the worst. They're gonna assume I really said it. I guess you could see how it could become explosive, though. Right, and 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 you know, I big silence. Big silence. I just wanted to share that with a few friends, you know, and, and did not intend for anybody for it to become what it did become. And I think that to the extent that it became political, I, I would like to think that that was done by, that others made it political and not me, um, that I was just sharing what, what I saw and, and what I thought was funny. WBAL uh, did start an investigation of this uh, yesterday morning, the general manager at WBAL. And today we have learned that uh, John Sanders is no longer employed at the station, which means he's fired. Now, I assume that what the general manager might have discovered was that Sanders did not do this at home on his home computer and post it to YouTube on his personal account. Because then it would be, yes, it brings disrepute on the on the organization and you probably would have to be punished for this. But it sounds an awfully lot like maybe this was done at work on the work computers and then it makes it wholly owned property of WBAL, which is owned by Hearst Argyle, which is a big broadcasting outfit and makes them liable for what he did. It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal all the way around. I mean, I, I, in order for me to sue anybody, and I'm not saying I will and I'm not saying I won't, but in order for me to sue anybody, i got to prove harm. Now, how am I going to prove harm? I mean, if, if a station calls up and says, we're canceling your show, Gibson, because we didn't like this, even if you didn't say it, I can prove some harm. If some station doesn't add our show to their lineup for this reason and never says anything, You'll never know. how would I ever know? And not to mention, I've got to tell you, the number of people who posted on the Huffington Post in complete glee, oh, Gibson's been caught again with some awful thing he said, when, it, when, they, when they learned it was phony, and, it, and the Huffington Post corrected it and said they regret the error, although I don't believe them either, now, I can't tell you the number of people who said, well, I'm sure he thinks like that anyway. That's just how he is. He is a racist. We don't need anything to prove it to us. We already, so, I mean, how do I measure that kind of harm? 
I, I, I just really don't know. When John Gibson talks. I'm just going to make this up. We take one person and we widen it out. I go out and do hand-to-hand combat. Man, is there a tush on Romney or what? He says things. John Gibson. That's my job. 